watching the NBA playoffs and getting ready for yeah, Baltimore? Um, I mean, I think everybody's a little bit antsy. I'm fine. I just feel like you know, whoever we play, who we play, uh, we'll be ready um, for our matchup. Ben, how does it help you guys having Joel available for this whole like preparation period of the second round that you guys didn't have for the first round? Uh, it just means we're more prepared, and uh, we know we're running, we know what steps we're going to be in, um, and we have a little bit more chemistry going into this uh, next series. Okay. You showed a lot of boys in the last series, and I'm pretty sure that whoever you play next is still going to try to come at you and try to play with you. How do you go about keep maintaining your play? Um, just focus on um, the next play, a play at a time. Um, you know, every individual incident is a, is a lot bigger than the actual, uh, not, not as big as the actual game side. So, you know, if I'm able to keep my poise and, and carry on with my team and keep playing well, I'm going to be fine. But do you brace yourself going into the game like, I know this is going to happen? Like, do you, do you, do you, like go through your mind or something like that? Just, I'm just playing, honestly. Uh, you know, whatever they throw at me, I'll be I'll be ready for it. At the same time, I'm not going to get too crazy or, or lose myself uh, in that moment. You know, I got to stay present for my team. I know you love the uh, game a lot, but is there some value to decompressing on a day like yesterday? Brett was talking about sometimes it can just be helpful to get away and, and recharge. Does that help you at all? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think it, it helps a lot. Uh, you know, refreshes your, your mind. Uh, obviously, the rest is important. And then... You know, it's good to get back in a day like this, even though the sun's out, um, to, to play. We get to talk about what you observed uh, in this downtime in the other NBA game. Uh, what, what have you seen in the other NBA games that struck you uh, in the playoffs? Uh, the, guys yeah. play the, the, the teams that are winning, the guys who are playing together. That's, that's the biggest thing I've taken away from every game I've watched. like change in the psyche of the city or the sports fans over the last few months? Um, yeah, I mean, the fans have been great all year, uh, but now it's just getting more hectic with playoffs going on, and, and obviously us making that push. So, I mean, the city has been amazing. Do you want, do you want specifically uh, to, to win tonight? Or, uh, court advantage when you're at guys right I mean, home court would be nice. Brett was, like uh, he said the other day that I guess one of the mottos around the team right now is like, we've got more to do. Um, when did that kind of seem like it became something that was realistic for this group, that it, it went beyond Perhaps just the first round play. After, after winning the uh, first series of the team, um, I think we have a great team, great coaching staff, and we have guys who want to get it done and, and keep getting better. You know, we're not satisfied with where, with where we're at right now. JJ was telling me about a time when he was kind of holding you accountable during a game where he said, I don't like where you're throwing the ball or something like that. You know, it's like a star player. Is that something you're okay with? Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's how I learned. Um, he's been in the league for a lot of years. It's my first year playing, so whatever he can help me get better at uh, and improve my game for the team's sake, I'm with him. Playing rotation, it also seems to be acceptable.